Welcome everyone to episode 272 of Just Joshing. I am your host, Joshua Pentelaresco. I write stuff in podcast too. Today, my guest is the talented Susan Jane. Susan Jane is an artist, entrepreneur, mom, and all around just kick-ass person. Uh, I had I've known her I've known her from Facebook forever and ever and ever. I met her I think about a year ago in person. Cool, very 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 cool woman. Uh, we had a really fun chat here about just her art, her kids, her life. Um, all in all, Susan's a badass, and I, I really enjoy chatting with her. So Susan, thanks for coming on my show. Uh, what's up with me today? I am at the IFLA meeting at Century Box tonight. I'm going to be talking about crowdfunding. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a very, very, I think, an important chat because um, I, I truly believe like like if was got some really cool things that they could offer more and maybe give them an idea on how to do that would be great. Um, and if not, if for the organization, the writers and artists that are there, um, I'm looking forward to having that chat. Uh, beyond that, I just handed in my novel. I finished edits on it. I handed it in last night to my editor so she doesn't have to beat me in all seriousness ellen michelle is a very very talented editor um she won me over as a person um first and foremost uh if she hadn't been so awesome i wouldn't have been so keen on working with her but i'm glad i did she's made my work better i i really like the changes she made in the cloud diver i was going through that i i was surprised how small my mistakes were but also just the attention to detail was incredible and uh Ellen did a great job. So, Ellen, thanks very much. Um, I'm, I got some really cool stuff coming up, and I can't wait to tell more about it. But I think for now, we'll just head into our conversation. Just Joshing is sponsored by Indie Imprint. Indie Imprint brings your creations to life. They believe in indies helping indies, and they have been known to, to contribute to everything from game jams to NaNoWriMo and everything in between. As a creator, you just bring your work to them, whether you're a writer, you're a musician, or video game designer, or whatever the case may be, and they'll help you format, proof, and distribute your project to a variety of different avenues. For more information, check them out at info at indieimprint.com. And by The Raven Podcast. The Raven Podcast is the brainchild of Jason LaBelle. Each episode, he actually narrates a story from an author, and then him and the author get together and they talk, do an interview about the story. Uh, this is a perfect commute podcast on the way to work. It's They're short and very memorable. I really dig Jason's take on interviews and how he conducts himself in telling stories. He's an awesome narrator. He's a great guy, and this is a great podcast. Check it out at theravenpodcast.com or on any podcast app you are aware of. So, you should record it? Uh, yeah, I just turned on the recorder. Okay. Right, right, right there, yeah. Of course I would. I, I, it's funny. I'll actually I'll start with this story. The podcast came about by accident yeah. because what happened was I finally get a phone like this, and I'm like, yes, I can. Because <laughs> I used to do written interviews on, and on my blog. There's tons of written interviews still. Yeah. I, I enjoy the. I like Rolling Stones how they do their interviews. I yeah. really, really dig that. And I thought that'd be a cool thing to do for for my blog. And then um, I interview Rob Sawyer, and Rob Sawyer goes to me. Well, he says this off offhand to somebody else. I just got interviewed for his podcast, and in my head, I was like, I didn't think about a podcast. Could I do a two hundred and sixty-two episodes later? Yeah, lo and behold, you could. Yes, I could. <laughs> and people say it's good, so I must be doing something right, mm-hmm. right? So absolutely. Yeah. So the question I always ask is, if you have anything incriminating you'd like to say, make it good. If I have anything incriminating you'd like oh. to say, make it good. About you or no, me? No, about you. <laughs> me? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I, my gosh. I, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm honestly pretty guiltless. I'm not saying I'm not without remorse, <laughs> but I am pretty guiltless. Incriminating. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know. I don't even know where to start with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a dinner at um, Brett Wilson's cabin uh, last September for the long weekend, and he asked a similar question for the table. And everybody went around the table, and when it came to me, he said, "You're not allowed to answer." <laughs> so there, that's there I'm, about I'm not allowed. So you, you plead the fifth. Yes, well, there, he, there he just no wouldn't problem. let me. He's like, he's good, "You're just gonna have too much, no, too no, much no, to share." No, it, it, it's, it's okay. I mean, hey, listen, we all have experiences in life. <laughs> some are good, some are bad. Oh gosh, no, it was funny, um, but yeah, no, I mean, incriminating, jeez. No, 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 it's up to you. Let's just I, go with that. Yeah, okay. I wasn't I, allowed to answer that question last time I was I, asked. I, yeah. <laughs> that should be in your bio. I, <laughs> yes. I'm serious. And that's according to Brett Wilson. Yes. Oh. So there you go. So how are you doing today? 
good. I think it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's those, these clouds are rolling in, but you know, this warm weather is so motivating. I'm getting so much done. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in a weird spot because I started going on my own in terms of, like, I'm part-time at the day job now, which mm-hmm. is which, which is a good thing. Yeah. But, and I'm again, I'm starting to see success, especially on the podcast and other things, but I haven't released a book yet, and I, and I, and I couldn't figure out why until about, like, a week ago. Yeah. Because it's, it's just about done. I just haven't done it, and I'm just like... It's because once I go all in, I'm all in. Like yeah. that, that, like the once I do it, I'm all in. Yeah. I need to do it. So I mean, I I know it's gonna be like it's in the next week or so. I'm going to like it's gonna be ready for order and people are gonna buy it. But it's yeah. just like you just have to have that starting point and then. Yo, yeah. You I, just haul. Yeah. Until it's done. Yeah. I'm the same way. If I don't have that motivating feeling to start then it's like pulling teeth but once i get that i'm in and it's done well m- momentum momentum's easy once you get going you're just yeah. getting going sucks yeah exactly i think that's a that's a very right-brained artist thing you have to have that uh inspiration to start that momentum so what motivates you um my children for one thing um i actually prefer working when they're home believe it or not i don't like painting in front of anybody except them um <laughs> This nice weather has been really motivating. I've completely done an overhaul of my yard, so spring cleaning and whipped up a painting for a show this weekend. Oh, FedEx. And yeah, yeah. nice weather, good friends, events. There's lots of nice events happening right now, so that's motivating me to get some stuff done for those. Charity events, of course. Um, Yeah. I think we're gonna go inside. Yeah. I'm, so. I'm watching the raindrops. I'm watching the raindrops. Like, I, we're gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna get drenched at least. Let's go inside real quick. But it's like, or we, can so much. we can go under the umbrella. So that's right. We try to tuck ourselves in here. I think we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah. Because otherwise, what's gonna happen we might is. might be too loud inside for the other. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I, I, I don't. I don't mind being obnoxious. It's all no. good. No. <laughs> Actually, it's it's uh, it's interesting because I do most of my interviews actually in coffee shops and stuff like that. Yeah. It's 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 interesting that um, more often than not, like I've been able to get away with it scot free no matter whatever I've talked about on the other end. Yeah. So, and and, and my conversations have gone from everything from like glitter. Yeah. To PTSD and everything <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. If that's the, that's that's for, well, that, that's variety. Yeah, you need variety mm-hmm. to be comfortable to target any situation and topic that is of concern well i do i do kind of um so you paint so do you do any other art, art, artsy stuff well i mean for a long time i would you know find abandoned skulls <laughs> abandoned skulls. i would find skulls or get skulls from uh, a couple of organic butchers and i used to clean them and uh whiten them and mount them and now i've got quite a few um roadkill <laughs> coyote skulls that I'm going to paint really cool. So I'm going to do a series of those and I've done it in the past. I'm kind of just restarting it. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I've, dated, I've dated a few women. It's like, I, I always ask them flowers or skulls. Most mm-hmm. of they all say skulls. So what is it about skulls? I don't know. That's an odd question. Most guys don't even think to ask that. But I mean, I like them just because I've always been attracted to um, natural uh, material, bone, wood, metal. Okay. So I just really like um, the texture and the feel of that. And for me, I guess growing up on a farm, you know, something was always passing away or dying, and I hated seeing it buried. And um, it was just kind of sad. So this kind of gives gives that creature a beautiful afterlife. Oh, 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 oh okay. Kind that's 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 an interesting answer because I I I asked this because, uh, well. I have a friend of mine, she, she does she does photography for metal band, she's got like all these skulls on her. So it's like, so yeah. flowers or skulls for her, she's like, skulls, oh, obviously, yeah. obviously. My last girl I dated, she's like, flowers or skulls? It's like, skulls? I just for bonus points, skulls are your enemies? And it's like, <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> right, but I mean, just, 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 well, hey, you know what? I totally believe way back in the day, back in our, back in our more barbaric times, yeah. I'm sure guys to impress women did bring the skulls probably. of her. Probably. Yeah, it was probably a probably. big problem. Probably. You know? But uh, oddly, like that's awesome slash I'm scared slash turned on <laughs> at the same time, right? The but full like, gamut. <laughs> yes. But there's that. But it's just like I just noticed, like it, it's to me, it's like strange. Like like when 
back when I I'm, I feel like a back in my day thing. I feel old now, shit. But um, I think you're younger than me. Yes, a <laughs> little bit, but still yeah, older than I look, right? And then I, I still remember like flowers are the big thing. Now it's like nope. I always just ask like, what do you prefer, flowers, skulls, rocks? I like, can't like whatever because I just find that yeah. right. Everybody's a little different, but it's just like, and I I've also just thrown away the concept of normal. It doesn't exist. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. And a lot of people are having growing pains with that whole evolution of relationships and likes and dislikes and preferences. So. Well, we're like, like uh, I, I think, I think the thing is we all had our weird proclivities. We live in an age now where they're all out in the open. Yep. And so it, it, it's almost like a re, it's a readjustment on the but on hand, no, it's not really. This has always been here. Yeah, it's always been there, but you're right. It's a lot more out in the open. Um, social media has made it a lot more, um, you know, easy to sh- display that. So anybody who does anything, uh, it's out there, and nothing's really original anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, not that, it, you know, for years it really wasn't. I mean, it's the same thing with art. There's a lot of artists or photographers who tell you that they do something special and unique. Well, unfortunately, nothing is special or unique. We're all kind of doing the same thing with just slight variations. Um, but yeah, you're right. I mean, normal. There is no normal. No, no, it doesn't exist. Yeah. I saw when I was a kid, we grew up. We had like a. It was a license plate, so it hung wide be normal. Oh yeah. I like it. <laughs> and, and, and you know, there's a lot of truth in that too. I mean, we, I think all of us on some level or another are meant to stand out yeah. and I think I think it's I think and again in a simpler time or quote unquote a bad lady not too long ago even that like stay in the herd no yeah. it's like I, I find that as you get older you get farther ahead standing out yeah and you know most people most for real most people don't want to and that's yeah. fine which is you know those are the consumers and then there's you know those who are the, the bosses or the you know employers the leaders the the artists the so yeah i mean there's going to be the majority who doesn't want to and that's fine because you know well, how I, much competition can we take i don't think there's actually any competition to be no. perfectly honest to be perfectly honest with you yeah you offer something i can't do yeah i offer something that you might be able to do yeah but maybe not to the same degree of skill or or like we all bring our own and i i agree with you on that it's i find um competition tends to come across as a bit of an ugly word when it's it's not really because uh, as a as a business owner um healthy competition is your best motivation absolutely um and a lot of people look at it in an ugly way where, you know, a new artist comes onto the scene and, it, oh, it's competition and they don't like, they, you know, yeah, well, that's unhealthy. Well, well, well it, I, it's weird. Like somebody, I, somebody I talked to not too long ago because I was, I'm looking, for, I was starting to like actively start looking for sponsors for the podcast mm-hmm. because I'm looking for stuff to give away as just part of content and things of that nature. Yeah. And. I asked them because I really am a fan of their work, but they they, they were very hesitant. Yeah. All right, and and I and there was a certain insecurity, like because yeah, you are helping me, but I'm helping you too. Yeah. Right. I have an audience. You have an audience. Let's cross pollinate. Let's grow bigger. We can work together. Yeah. But it, it, I think I think in their head, I'm I'm not saying an enemy per se, but I'm competition. Whereas, yeah. whereas that's one way of looking at it. But the other way, it's like I have my niche. You have your niche. Yeah. Right. For sure. And. All, my challenge isn't really to beat you. My no. challenge, my challenge is, can I stand out? Yeah. Can I stand out in enough way that I can draw the right people to me to make a living doing what I'm doing? Yeah. If the answer is yes, I'm doing something right. If the answer is no, I'm not doing it right. I'm, there's something I'm missing. There's I, I don't look at it even from what the other person's offering, other than they yeah. might be doing something better than me. Yeah. And honestly, you can learn from that. Yeah. Well, and a lot of times it's not. It, just even tweaking your own mindset where it's not how can I make a living how can I provide something that people are going to consume yes and making a living off it hey that's a really nice bonus yes so but yeah no a lot it, a lot of times you know it's 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 beneficial to work together but people just they they're scared they're timid they're they get their backs up yeah for whatever reason well it's just it's just something I, I just again like we were talking off the air like when you start seeing success, people get antsy about you. Mm-hmm. And it's weird because it's not like, yeah. I'm the same guy. I have yeah. I've been doing this. The only difference now is more people notice. Yeah. Yeah, and it's unfortunate, but yeah, that's the human nature. 
Yeah. That's the, that's a fact. Yeah. So, I, so in your case though, you've done the various different businesses. Like you start, I, I think when I talked to you, I think it's been about two years since I actually friended you on the on the Facebook. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, and I, my first answer is, hey, would you like to come on this? Like, I, I just do clothing and models and stuff. That was your answer way back <laughs> in the day. Well, that's when I was working on Good North, which I actually do plan to reinstate, re yeah. revive. I do still love that company. Um, so, yeah, I will do something with that again. Yes. So that's where I started. Now you've moved into... So what was the decision to go from that to like a more your more artistic endeavors now? Well, I mean, I have my regular business that I've done for 10 years now, and that's in the birth industry. And so, I mean, Good North was just like a passion project. And then painting, I've painted my whole life. Um, I just kind of took a hiatus in my 20s because I got a job, was making a living. And then, you know, in my late 20s and 30s, I was having kids. And then, you know, I had a really traumatic event happened last year and I needed I desperately needed something to distract me and and you know get passionate about and immerse myself in so I went back to a couple of art classes um, to where I had gone when I was a teenager at Swinton's and yeah it just it just totally took over and, and I totally immersed myself in it and it was when they say art is therapy I, I never really believed it before but it is. It absolutely yeah. is. Absolutely, it's it's you're letting a part of yourself out out there that may not that may not normally be yeah. out there. Yeah, and you know, unlike something like like I mean, you can immerse yourself in a TV series, or you know, you can immerse yourself in fitness, and you know, those have their benefits and their place. But this was kind of great because it I had something I had an output and people were able to give me feedback, and so it was very interactive and a very social kind of a, a you know, thing to immerse myself in, and it just really helped, really, really helped, so. No, and that, and that sounds good. So, I asked, not as, let's get asked a fun and tough question here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. So, what are you trying to say with your writing? Um, I, I find, I find, like, I find with my writing, when I tend to write, I'm writing about things that really matter to me on some level or another, even, even if it, like, I joked last night, I actually came up with this idea of a story about a pirate and, and his whale assistant, and they actually raised pirate ships for this. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> um, I guess, you know, for me, a really big thing in my life is um, it's really important to me to be a strong and independent woman, but also at the same time to also remain and stay very feminine. Um, I think it's a really hard um, balance for some women. They feel like, you know, they're either a feminist or you know they're the opposite end of the spectrum they're 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 weak and that's not really the case and i find in my paintings it kind of brings out that strong feeling that i have about women that women can be beautiful and strong and independent and you know boss bitches but they can still be very feminine and beautiful yes. and they're still you know they, they go hand in hand yes <laughs> they can be mothers they can be you know, lovers, they can be beautiful in any size, shape, age, whatever. I like, I like to, and I've had, you know, quite a few female clients and that that's what they, they have told me that it, the painting kind of makes them feel empowered. Yeah. So, yeah. And that, that, and that, so. So that's not, actually not a really very hard question for me because I actually already know this. Very, well, no, 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 it, it, it's good. Some, some people like when they, people, oh, yeah. yeah, it's like, oh shit. I know. Right? <laughs> it's like, he, he wants me to sound intelligent here. <laughs> Fuck. Well, and if you asked me when I started, I might not have realized it at the time. Oh. So. I, 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 like, art, art ultimately, I feel, is an exploration of who you are. Like, mm -hmm. whatever art you're actually doing, if you're willing yeah. to go deep enough, you find you. That's yeah. just, that. it doesn't really matter what the form is. That's, yeah. that's what it is. So, sure. and I found that was the difference between my early writings and my later writings. My early writings, I didn't know what the fuck I was saying. I had cool ideas. I had cool, like, this is neat. Yep. Right? And, it, and, and yeah, there, there's a certain novelty to it, and that hasn't completely disappeared, hence the whale and the pirate. <laughs> I, right, and it's actually it's even weirder because the story is actually about a a, a, a a girl. Oh yeah. A zombie mobster. <laughs> a unicorn that farts rainbows. Actually oh, try, yeah. right? That actually tries to break their dad out of a quantum prison, and actually as a tie, as a backup tie-in, this is this is a fairy tale. In a world where reading is actually like books are a rare thing, she's got this book. And it's about jo it's called Jonah and Moby, right? Oh, wow. Right. So That's Jonah, awesome. so, yeah. So Jonah gets swallowed by this vegetarian well. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the, but the story, but the story mirrors her story because mm. what's happening, what's happening is it, uh, like she's coming to turn like for her, it's an escape because she's coming to turns that her dad was a crook, yeah, a very a notorious criminal, and she wants to break him out because it's her dad. She doesn't yeah. see him as a criminal; she sees him as as her dad, right? Yeah, right. So, and there is truth in that. Yeah. But there's also truth in the fact that he has to pay for it. So the quantum prison thing is actually there's a point where she actually has to get swallowed by the system. It's very similar to oh. Jonah and the, no, there there, cool. there there are similarities Lots and news. right and the unicorn of Ars Ramos is actually um, spam. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My so, son, my son could like sculpt little creatures for you for this because he's got an imagination just like you. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> like I, I, eight-year-old. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're saying my imagination's like an eight-year-old? No, his imagination is just very advanced. Yeah. But so, there, maybe there's a meeting the in the email, middle there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, I, I'm okay. Listen, I read comic books, eat ice cream, and like Dr. Seuss. I'm good with yeah. being an eight-year-old kid in terms of imagination. I think that's a pretty cool yeah. compliment because we all have lost, most of us, not all of us, we lose a degree of our creativity as we grow up. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, I think it's, that has more to do with the fact that we lose our innocence. And... Unfort- unfortunately, this is the reality. Most of us do not know how to... I, okay, I, I use Dr. Seuss as a great example. Dr. Seuss does not shy away from dark stuff in his no. books at all, at all. Right. Yet, yet, right, he still can present a very light-hearted view of the world at the same time. And that's a very tricky balance because yeah. most of us, when we see whatever dark side there is, yeah. that's all we see. The reality of the situation is, yes, there are some mean and nasty things out there. Yeah. All right, I could tell stories. I might tell them off the air. <laughs> but yeah. some things I've seen. But the reality of the situation is, right, yeah, d- like, yeah, there are some terrible things out there. But on the same token, there are people that, that, that are doing amazing, incredible things like yeah. yourself. And then there's, there's, there is a magic out there. But you have to actively look for it. And as you get older, yeah. you have to – it gets – there's a balance. It gets harder. I think there's going to come a point when I'm hopefully maybe 70, <laughs> and the world has receded me a little bit. Yeah. Right. That that um, it might I may not have to work quite so hard. I feel there's a point when the world says, you know what, your time has come and gone. Yeah. Somebody else's turn. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like. I think you'll get bored. I don't know if you're uh, ever going to want to stop. I'll, 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 no, I'll, I I didn't say I'd stop. Uh, there's a, okay. But but I I'd, sl- I'd slow down. I mean, right. I'm going to. We're all going to slow down at some oh, point. Yeah. Hey, I, I already got plans for my 80th birthday. I'm jumping out of a plane at 80. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I will never do that. Yes. <laughs> but I just, that, that see, I, because I look at it like this, especially at 80 years old, it's a year oddly bulletproof. Because yeah. it's not it's not that you can't die. It's just you've already lived your life. Yeah. So if something fucks up, meh. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's one way of looking at yeah, it. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just... True, though. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, well, no, you're, you're like, as you get... so. When you're a kid, or when you have nothing, when you have nothing, no. you're bulletproof. Because yeah, things can bad things. That's not saying bad things can't happen to you, but you don't really have anything to lose. Yeah. When you get older, it's the same thing. You have less to lose as you yeah. get older, less and less and less. And if you have nothing to lose, you have a huge strength over. A, it's 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 kind of. I've been in like really really poor situations where I've had nothing left to lose. Mm-hmm. That is the second strongest point in your life, yep, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Right, right. I've been there. That was kind of the starting point to my main business. And yep, absolutely. When you have nothing left to lose, nothing to lose. You, you, you got your n- options are open. Yeah, yeah. You you got complete wide front. open. Yeah. Absolutely. A, a, and that's and that's the thing, right? So when I get so when I get to that as I get older. Yeah. You have to slow down. You don't have the same energy you did when you were younger. Mm-hmm. But at the same, at the same token, that doesn't mean you stop. That doesn't mean you're not engaged. It just means that what you're engaged in, right? Yeah. I, I might be fascinated with you know quantum mechanics when I'm 70. I could see it. I could totally <laughs> see it. I might, I, I might just have a sheer board and try to invent a time machine. And that, that may be a good or a bad thing. I might dump that. In, <laughs> I might dump that in the river if I do it. It's like yes, I did it. Hey. <laughs> nope. Done. I don't need. No one needs to know that. Proof gone yes <laughs> no proof yeah exactly no but i mean but in in all like the reality is like yeah i mean i i can i'm never gonna stop i already yeah. know i already like i already see the day coming when i'm no longer working a day job like that day is coming yeah. right and yeah. that's gonna be a scary year or two when i don't do it but i also think that when i'm when i finally do take that plunge yeah 
all right, I don't think I'm ever going back. Like, I know, I know that it, there will be... I might still have the occasional odd job here and there, but we're looking at, like, temporary, like... Yeah. No, that's kind of how I've been. I, I There was points where I thought that I was going to have to go back to a day job. And, you know, between my, my birth services company and, you know, now I'm getting supplement supplemental income from the painting, you know, it, I've been 10 years and I really haven't had to go back so yeah you know there's going to be a time where you're going to look back and say oh 10 years ago I gave up my day job and yeah no and, and that's coming back that's coming like I'm at a part-time point right now and I know like the next step for me is to keep that going yeah it's just now it's just how it winds down from here is, is all I'm really looking at like more than anything else and that's yeah. that's where I'm at you're at the point where you're like you're looking. I, I, you're still kind of trying to figure out what you can and can't do, can you? Aren't, aren't you? Oh gosh, I think I pretty much do whatever I want to do, yeah, exactly. whether I can or can't. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you follow me on Facebook. I do. No, no. You, 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 make, you crack me up actually. You crack kind me of up. Push the card a little bit. Maybe a little too much mm-hmm. sometimes, but no. Oh well. You, no, you're, you're, you're straight. You're like you, you come across like a fairly straight shooter, and that, and, and thing. Here's the thing. If you're blonde, people kind of cringe a little bit and that's just that's because we don't live in a world where because when you're blunt it's not nice it's yeah. not um it's not pretty it's not it's none of those things it's just this is the way it is yeah if you don't like it i don't care yeah and that's much. What, and you know yeah. a lot of people have come around and said that they appreciated it and that they learned something and that they you know made a decision about something they weren't sure about before and you know a lot of people are getting more comfortable with some of those topics that really should be out in the open um so i don't mind being that way and i don't mind that you know i might i might offend the odd person or two but you know i try to temper my bluntness with you know a little bit of softness yeah. around the edges um that's gonna get harder as you get older oh yeah no I yeah <laughs> that's good. i'll keep trying you know i think being a mother helps it helps me stay soft but we'll we shall see <laughs> You should meet my grandmother. She's raised like her brothers, her her sons, and myself. Yeah. Nothing. Not, not, she's mellowed out at eighty. <laughs> yeah. That's another generation, though. They are tough as nails. But but they had to be. Yeah. And, and, and Every I, and, generation gets a little softer, I think. Here. Yeah. I've talked to people. I've talked to people from. I, th- I think here's the thing. If you have faced adversity of any kind, yeah. you're tough as nails. Yeah. If you haven't. And the other thing is, we live in a world now where you don't have to tackle adversity if you don't want to. No, that's true. Right. And that, that's things. So a lot of people don't. This goes back to this not standing out thing. Yeah. Those people, yeah, they're, they're it's not, it, it's, it's, they can have, if they were put into a situation over time, they'd handle it. But for the first little while. Yeah. Put it this way. I have friends who, 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 who panic over a late rent payment. <laughs> I'm well past that point. It's yeah. like, meh. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying you shouldn't pay your rent. I'm not saying that. But if, for whatever reason, I'm short. Yeah. I shrug. You roll with it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I do what I can. If I can't do it, this is the way it is. I, yeah. I live up. I move on. I go. If it isn't like, and and, and that again, I'm not again. I'm I do pay my rent. I do pay my bills. All yeah, that but stuff. But sometimes life happens, and, yeah, and 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 I've learned that, that you roll with it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and you're right. A lot of people can't. Anything out of their comfort, you know, the norm, it, it, it is a hardship. So that's true. And whereas whereas with me, it's like, so what's hard for you? Well, dying's hard. That, that I mean that that. That, that, and that's 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 an advert. Yeah. That, that, that's you've it. gone through enough. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. That's it. That, that that like you don't. It doesn't pitch you anymore. So I would say like, it really depends on who you are in this world today. I think you have the choice to be strong. You have the choice to be. You have the choice to confront adversity. Yeah. Right. You do. You have that choice. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to um, avoid it. Yeah. If you don't want to. Right. Yeah, no, that's for sure. Yeah. And Some people are raised in a manner in which they just really never have to face it. And so as an adult, when it arises, it's, it's a bit of a shock. But, I mean, I think we all need to deal with it because I think at some point in our life, we are all going to be faced with it. Oh, we all face it. We, yeah, I, I think... 
bad things, like, like, like I said this on uh, one of my motivations, the three biggest things we all fear of, we all have to face at some point, that is we're going to get rejected. Yep. Right? We're going to fail. Yep. And we're going to die. Yep. And you're going to confront your mortality at some point. You're going to confront, you're going to get rejected at some point. You're going to, you're going to fail at some point. Yeah. And that's not, I mean, that's just life. But how you deal with it, that's what makes you a human being. Like, that makes yeah. you you, right? Do you confront it? Do you face it? Do you roll with it? Do you try to find a way to move forward? Do you run away? Do you get do you go the other direction? Yeah, do you hide? Do you, you curl up into a ball? You're right. Yeah. And all of these things are perfectly human reactions, yeah. right? But, right, it's about, it's about who you are in those moments. And that's yeah. what adversity teaches you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you can. I always have looked at it. I, I never lose. I learn, and I know that's such a cliche, but I mean it's pretty much true. I mean, oh yeah. Losing, defeating, being defeated, being rejected. I mean, you you can curl up in a ball. You can, you know, and, and, feel like you're gonna die or get better. Yeah. Or, or maybe both. Maybe you do need that moment to curl up for a yeah, minute. That's, <laughs> that's true. true. Yeah. That is true. Hey, hey, listen. You're right. I'm, stuff, stuff, stuff hurts. I'm I mean, a it's girl. A... I'm a sensitive girl. <laughs> I, I, I had to look away on that. <laughs> yeah, we know this already. <laughs> yeah, no, I had to look away on that one. I'm not, I'm not. It's like, um, sometimes. <laughs> Some, oh my uh, God. I, sometimes. Sorry, I just, I, I, I could just, I just see, I just see you on you the. You make me spit my coffee. Uh, yes. <laughs> It's just, I just, I, it, it, it's like, it's like me sometimes. Like sometimes I, I don't, I'm not completely aware of what's around me. I, I'm worried that I'm the guy that might accidentally run over grandma on the escalator. It's just, I just, I, I mean, I worry about that a little bit because it's like, would you do it? Well, not on purpose, but could I, would I, would I, would I, would I miss it in the moment? Well, I'll try okay. raising little people. I'm still amazed I've kept two humans alive for eight and a half and 11 years. So, so are they the adults? <laughs> you know what, my older one? <laughs> He's very mature. Yeah. Yes, he reminds me not to swear, and he reminds me to start supper. And <laughs> mom, did you forget to start supper he's again? Tra- he, he's training you. <laughs> oh yes. He's very. He's very good at that. So yeah. Sometimes. 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 Not all the time. But well, and the, yeah. So no. I, well, yeah. Sometimes. Some, sometimes, like yes, I am the adult in this relationship. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Absolutely. I guess. What are you having for dinner? Ice cream. Why? Because I'm a grown-ass woman. <laughs> and you're having broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, exactly. Yes. Yes, I've used that line a time or two because I'm an adult. Ish. Ish. <laughs> yes, yes. Ish. ish. <laughs> exactly. So it's coming up next for you. Um, well, I'm hoping to have some shows. I want to do some uh, events. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm focusing on next. I'm for the summer and um, I've been selling mostly online but I'd like to do some in-person shows where I can meet meet clients in person and give them a party <laughs> hmm. yeah oh, that's not, that sounds cool yeah so if you had to pick just one work which one are you proudest of the most and why oh that's I know that's chilled that's ticking your children well I mean being a mother is definitely my favorite job hands down that was what inspired me to start my birth services in just like business which has been really successful without my kids I wouldn't have wouldn't have started that mm-hmm. um, but yeah being a mom is my favorite job it's the most inspiring the other stuff it, I'm just it's definitely you know the art and the birth work it's it's passion projects and I'm just really lucky that I get to make money off of them yeah which is always a good thing yeah mm-hmm. so what do you think do you think we have an interview I think so okay <laughs> Now you just have to listen to it again and make sure it's all okay and appropriate. Uh, uh, <laughs> n- n- I, I don't worry about that. We, we were pretty well behaved, so I Ish. Think we're okay. Ish. Ish. Oh. The grandmother's escalators. Very. Yeah. We were very well behaved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you know, we are professionals. Quote unquote. Yes, yes. There's, there's quotation marks here on that one. Professionals ish. Ish. We're just a lot of ishes here. Yes. So I think what we're going to do then, how about this? You plug what, what, if you have anything exactly coming up right now, you plug that, plug your current, your latest work, whatever that is, okay. and then how people can find you. Um, well, I can be found on my, on, well, social media, Susan Jane Fine Art on Facebook. Uh, 
at symbol Susan Jane Art on Instagram. Um, www.susanjanefineart.com online and uh, on those any one of those avenues you will be able to see um, any future events we do have one sort of that we're planning we're just trying to nail down a date but hopefully august but information will be on the online for sure fair enough yeah And that was my conversation with Susan Jane. Uh, Susan does, like I say, regular paintings, commissions. You can definitely contact her on via Facebook if you want to try to do something there. She has a website as well. It's mentioned at the end of the episode. Definitely take a look at her if you really want to. And Susan, from me to you, thank you very much for coming on my show. You're welcome back anytime you'd like. All right. I want before I get going, I want to talk about my giveaways courtesy of Indie Imprint this week. I'm giving away a just Al- Jessica Alter book till on death to do us part. I'm also giving away a video game, which I think is really cool. It's my first video game I'm ever giving away. Uh, it's Space Mercs. It's a Steam game courtesy by Giant Bearded Games. I'm going to be talking to him very soon uh, on the podcast. I'm really excited about that. Uh, but. You know, right now, there's a mailing list. Put your email in. I'll be sending you guys Kindle copies of how to unlock either the book or the code for the video game. All that stuff will be there, so I can't wait uh, to tell you. Beyond all that, yeah, life's kind of going good. Um, more cool things are going to be happening soon. Uh, I want to thank very quickly the Raven Podcast for being a great sponsor for me for the month of June. Uh Jason Lavelle is an amazing author, but he's also an amazing podcaster. I'm, I'm glad he's – I am so glad, Jason, if you're listening to this, that you've gone out of your comfort zone so very, very much. I'm happy the small part I played in that, but I'm also just – I'm really wishing you nothing but continued success. Your podcast is really cool, and you definitely um, have something there. So I hope, it re- I hope it really takes off for you. So – Thanks, every, thanks, Jason, and thank you, everybody else. And that will do it for this episode of Just Joshing. So if you want to support the podcast, you can support it in a number of different ways. Support my sponsors, Raven Podcast. Go to ravenpodcast.com. And go to Indie Imprint if you have a book, a creative project that you need to edit, proofed, finalized, planned, launched, you name it. Talk to them. Do that. I uh, Subscribe to my podcast. Um, you can do so on Podomatic, Google Play, Spotify, iTunes. Um, leave a review, share the work. That'd be awesome. My YouTube channel, uh, Joshua Pentelaresco. My Facebook page, Joshua Pentelaresco, author, podcaster. Um, my books, Watch Your Storm Dancer, Wandering God, courtesy of Mirror World Publishing. Go to mirrorworldpublishing.com for more info. Check out Amazon, Kobo, every other book outlet if you want a copy of the books. Beyond all that, stay inspired, keep doing your thing, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Josh, Josh.